How do I convert to Islam is an evidence-based series by Sheikh Dr. Haytham Sarhan. May Allah preserve him, in which he addresses the most important Islamic issues in the form of a question and answer. Discusses the issue of entering Islam and how does one become a Muslim and what should one do after they have converted to Islam. The most important things a new Muslim needs to gradually learn in Islam. Number one, is it easy to convert to Islam? Yes, it does not need any intermediary or rituals. Number two, should I hasten to convert to Islam or should I wait for the appropriate time or to end some problems? Answer, it is necessary to take the initiative because delaying Islam may lead to evils. You may die at any time. And entering Islam is a profitable business. And the more you initiate the trade, the more profitable you will be in it. Number three, what should someone who wants to convert to Islam do? They only need to pronounce the two shahadas. Number four, what language should they speak? He can say it in any language that he speaks well, and it is not required to say it in Arabic. Number five, does he say it without understanding its meaning? No, rather he must understand its meaning, believe what it contains, and act according to it. Number six, what does Ashhad, I bear witness mean? It means I acknowledge and confess with my heart and I speak with my tongue, act with my limbs. Number seven, what does La ilaha illallah mean? It means there is none worthy of worship and truth except Allah. Number eight, what does Muhammad abduhu wa rasooluhu? Muhammad is his messenger and his servant mean. It means he is a servant who cannot be worshipped and a messenger who cannot be belied. What is necessary from this testimony is that he should believe in what he said, obey him in what he commanded, refrain from what he forbade and warned against, and that he should follow his sunnah and emulate it. Number nine, I understand well, so what do I do now? Repeat after me. I bear witness that there's no deity of worship, worthy of worship, except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. Ten. Am I now a Muslim? Yes, Alhamdulillah. All praise be to Allah. This is from Allah's grace upon you. Number 11. What do you advise as a Muslim? I advise you to supplicate to Allah to make you steadfast on his religion, to choose righteous companions who will help you in this, to learn Islam and to hide your Islam until it becomes stronger. Allah willing, inshaAllah. Number 12. What is the best dua and supplication? Guide us to the straight path in the first chapter of the Quran, verse number 6. 13. What is the easiest dhikr in the remembrance? Saying Bismillah in the name of Allah. It is said when entering and leaving the mosque and the house, when reading the Quran, and before entering the bathroom, before taking off clothes, before performing wudu, which is ablution, and before eating and drinking, and in other situations as well. 14. What is the ruling on the sins that I have committed before entering Islam? Islam destroys the sin that came before it, except for the rights of people which must be fulfilled, which must be returned to those who deserve them. 15. What is required of me to do after the shahada? Wash your body. 16. Why would I do the purification wash? Firstly, the Muslim doesn't say why. Rather, he says, we listen and we obey, as in the Qur'an. Secondly, you wash until you purify the outside of your body, just as you have purified your inside. 17. So how do I do it? By intending in your heart to bathe, saying Bismillah, and covering the entire body with water. 18. What comes after washing? If the time for prayer comes, you pray, inshaAllah, Allah willing. 19. Prayer for me is difficult since it has wordings and actions that I do not do well. Islam is a religion of ease, not a religion of hardship. So alhamdulillah. 20. How do I pray? You must continue learning with me on Ma'had, a sunnah website or YouTube. Watch the videos teaching prayer and you'll find them in several languages. Links are listed at the end of this document. 21. What comes after prayer? 
You must learn the five pillars of Islam on which it is built upon, then the pillars of faith and so on, until you complete everything that authenticates your Islam and faith. 22. What websites do you advise me to go in order to learn Islam? Mahadsunnah.com, youtube.com slash at Mahadsunnah, and sarhan.com. Links are at the end of this document. 23. How do I deal with my non-Muslim kinship and family members? You deal with them as the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, dealt with non-Muslims. He called for Islam with his tongue, his morals, and his dealings. 24. There are those who want to enter Islam but are afraid to tell their loved ones what is their ruling. Whoever converts to Islam is not obliged to inform anyone of his conversion to Islam as his conversion to Islam is between him and Allah. 25. What is the best book in Islam? The best book is the Quran as it is the words of Allah. 26. What is the most important chapter in the Quran? The most important surah or chapter is Al-Fatiha, which is the first, which is why we recite in every raka unit of prayer. 27. What is the most important verse in the Quran? The greatest ayah verse in the Quran is Ayat al-Kursi, which is in the second chapter of the Quran, verse 255. 28. How can I read the Quran? By learning the Quran and hearing the recitation such as the recitation of Sheikh al hudayfi or Sheikh al husri and others. 29. How do I understand the Quran? You can understand it by reading the books of interpretation, tafsir, written by Islam acclaimed scholars. Where can I find an interpretation of the Quran? I advise you to visit the Quran printing complex in Medina. 31. What do you advise me to read after the Quran? I advise you on the authentic narrations, hadiths, of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi peace and blessings be upon him. 32. What is the best book on the Prophet's hadith? The best and most correct book of hadith is the book Sahih al-Bukhari. The nation has agreed upon it and its venerable scholars were pleased with it. I advise you to review the links at the end of this document. 33. What is the most important hadith in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The most important of them is the hadith of Jibreel in explaining the three levels of religion, Islam, Iman and Ihsan. 34. I am afraid that I will not be able to learn Islam. Do not be afraid. Rather, put your trust in Allah and Allah will help you in your endeavor for Islam is easy. May Allah grant you success in doing what He loves and is pleased with. You can study with us for free and remotely at our institute, Mahad Sunnah. Links at the end of this document. In conclusion, I recommend to you what the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Strive for what will benefit you and seek help from Allah and do not give up.